Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2 a World Zoo Season 3 and we are here with our porcupine and she's expecting a baby you guys can you believe that oh I'm so glad that's working out I've been a little bit worried about my porcupine since last time we had two siblings who decided to be territorial and kind of finish each other off it was very tragic so tragic but it seems like our new set of porcupines here in the forest zoo are actually turning out okay and the female should actually be having her baby sometime soon so We'll have to keep an eye on her. Oh my gosh, look at that. She's gonna have her baby any minute now. As soon as this little green box fills up, ah, it's going higher. Yeah, we're gonna have a porcupine baby pretty soon. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. Oh, and it looks like we just had a fallow deer give birth. That's so fine. But yes, everyone, welcome back to the forest zoo. And we are getting ready to expand with some new animals today. I'm kind of really feeling like adding in foxes. Probably because we have been enjoying our fox simulator game so much in another one of our series. Uh, and actually, speaking of some of our carnivores, where aren't you guys breeding? Woo, the laggity lag lag. There we go. Where aren't you guys having any babies, huh? And what the heck kind of call is that? Is that my Ethiopian wolves? Now that's more like an Ethiopian wolf call that I'm used to, but, oh, oh, and I forgot I had a photo challenge. Oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna have to try to complete the photo challenge too. Wait, is that my turkeys? I would be freaked out if I were you too, foxes, if those are like the sounds. What on earth? Okay, so we have a fox over here. <gasps> is she waiting? Is she waiting to, to mate with the other fox? That's what they do when they lay down. <gasps> are we about to have, <gasps> are we gonna have fox babies? Fox babies? Okay, okay, I think we're about to see some fox babies in action, maybe. Okay, they both lay down. When they plunk down like that to snooze, then they're going to hopefully, hopefully, come on. All right, porcupine is giving birth right now, come on. Foxes, make up your mind. <gasps> She's finally pregnant, you guys, we finally have our fox babies come or fox what the heck are our wolf babies coming on in was i saying foxes over and over again that's because i was so excited i'm sorry <laughs> we finally have a wolf pup on the way in so our ethiopian wolves are going to give birth oh we're gonna have to keep an eye on them today and is the porcupine just coming like straight up she is she is oh and there's the baby here's the little baby we've just got babies all over the place oh and here's another baby Oh my goodness, there's so many porcupine babies everywhere. This is amazing. All right, little guys, you're adorable. So on oh, the photo challenge, I keep forgetting we have the photo challenge. And what the photo challenge is actually deals with the peafowl too. So we need to find our peafowl. Oh no, and we have an upset, we have an upset guest. Maybe we should ask her why she, maybe she doesn't like Dina the saber tooth. She wants to be entertained. So her amusement level is pressing. And she hasn't bought anything? What? What? Okay, we're gonna have to figure out a way to entertain her. Maybe we should put down some of the interacti interactive exhibits down here. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty not pleased that, that the, we don't have... Uh-oh, and this guy isn't very happy either. Oh no! So a lot of the people over here, they aren't entertained by a porcupine giving birth? Well, I, I have some choice words for them. Oh no, yeah, look, a whole bunch of the people aren't very happy. So what we can try to do over here to make our guest happy is add in a few of the arches and a few of the other decorative pieces that they would need. And then we can also add in, um, let's see, some of the entertainment centers, like the little education centers and those little buildings. So let's see how many of those we have researched. Hmm, let's see. All right, restrooms. And then we've got the compost building. We could put a compost building down, you guys. I'm sure that's going to entertain our guest. No, 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 no. All right, let's try it just, oh, and we have the face painting kiosk. You know what? Let's add the face painting kiosk in. I forgot that we earned that. And let's go ahead and put the face painting kiosk at one of the crowded areas. Like the beavers are really, really popular. So maybe if we try putting the face painting kiosk over by the beavers. Oh my gosh, are those really our new birds? Do you hear that weird wobble wobble? Oh my gosh, that's the weirdest sound. That is just the weirdest sound, but I'm glad that it seems to be entertaining the guests at least. All right, maybe I should move the educator podium. So let's go ahead and move the educator podium maybe over here. I really, I want her to be able to access the most people. So what if I put the educator podium, okay, I, I confused my poor educator by removing that. I'm gonna get rid of this forest bench because there's other places for people to sit down and I'm gonna put my educator right there 
so that people have to like walk past her. And then I'm going to scoot Fruit Cup Man over here so that he'll start selling his fruit cups on this side. Oh, people really wanted their fruit cups. And we're gonna put a face painting kiosk right here instead. And we'll see if that's going to, to make everybody pretty happier, pretty happy. All right, what do you mean you can't reach the podium? Oh, maybe I put it too close to some other things. All right, well, this is getting a little tricky. Okay, let's try turning it like this. Maybe that'll work. All right, is that gonna work? Can you, can you reach the podium now? All right, hopefully we'll have a good balance. And this man going to buy sparkling water, he's thirsty and he wants some entertainment. So hopefully the face painting kiosk will help out with entertaining everybody. Oh, there's the zoo is so busy. I love it because we have to constantly run back and forth, back and forth, taking care of so many different things. And I might need to turn it so it's not diagonal to make people come use it. We'll have to see. So far, nobody's coming to use it. I'm already nervous about that. All right, let's try turning it like this then. All right, come on, everybody. Come on, come get your faces painted. In fact, I'll make it, can I make it any cheaper? Darn, I wanted to make it like super cheap. So hopefully that'll start entertaining some people. Um, in fact, why don't I go ahead? Is this kid coming for the face painting? All right, I know eventually, eventually, maybe if I can add some balloons or something over here. Do I have some balloons from our animals giving birth out front? Because usually you get like a little, a little thing of balloons. I do, look! I have a whole bunch of balloons from all of our animals giving birth. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right next to the face painting kiosk. And then hopefully, hopefully we'll be able, come here, come here balloons. No, I don't want the wildflowers for once, I want the balloons, there we go. I'll just grab a couple of them and put them over here. And hopefully this will convince our guests to come over and get their faces painted. You guys know you want to, come on. It's a beautiful face painting kiosk, become a beaver. <gasps> yes, yes. We have our very first, we have our very first kidlet going in, going in. And the, the mascot is trying to chase the child down. Come on now. Come on, this is what I really, I really want to see what their little face is going to look like. They have so many choices. Do you see that? We have panda and we have like, I don't even know what that one is. And we have tiger and it looks like lion maybe. No, no. Is that just like two types of tiger or maybe one's a butterfly? All right, I saw the child enter. I haven't seen him come back out. Uh-oh, and the red deer is sick. Come on, kidlet. Come on. All right, oh, oh, where is he? Ah, dang it. All right, we'll just have to keep an eye on when the guests will start walking around with their faces painted. But, oh, did you get yourself stuck all the way back here? No wonder you're not feeling very well. Let's go ahead and put this deer out here. We have so many deer, you guys. It's so many deer. We're gonna have to come on through, there we go, giving that deer a shot. We're gonna have to come through and clear out some of these deer for sure. Cause there's a few too many of them to the point where it's lagging this spot. So maybe we can just come in uh, and we can start just adopting out some of them. That'll also give us some good money too. So we have a lot of white-tailed deer actually. They're breeding just fine. And I have been somewhat tempted um, to go through and gather up a bunch of these deer and stick them in like a, a reserve at the back because this is a pretty big zoo. And I know we were talking about maybe just turning all of this into a normal zoo, but I do think maybe a wildlife forest with some of the, the wolves and the prey and predator interaction in the back corner, maybe wouldn't be very remiss and we could just call it like a national reserve and oh look everybody's coming over to see the Spanish lynx babies that's wonderful oh they're so cute they've gotten so big you guys have grown up I'm so proud oh and these people are all very happy and they're walking oh what are you doing ma'am looking at the wooden arch and that's making her entertained I forget that we want to put these wooden arches everywhere when guests walk under the arches it increases their amusement level so I wonder if I can like put it right here. This would be a little bit in the exhibit though, but can we kind of just make it look like a trellis area? There we go, look at how everybody, everybody is so excited. They're all looking at the wooden arches now. <laughs> all right, I'm not gonna question it. We'll just say that that's kind of like a naturalistic trellis spot and we'll ignore the fact that it sort of goes into uh, the two exhibits. So that's actually pretty fun because now people will have to walk under there if they want to come over and they want to look at the porcupines and they seem very intrigued by the baby porcupines. Oh, and we have some turkeys, some turkey babies. I wonder if there's a special name for a turkey baby, but we have some turkey babies coming. And then let's see. You, you two, you have two had one child walk in. 
Did you ever let him back out? I'm a little worried now. All right, we'll worry about that later. And everybody seems pretty happy and entertained because we have uh, Cecil the Sabertooth Entertainer dashing around. Um, and then let's see, we have a lot of people coming this way. Good. I should probably add in another educator over here so that people know what the heck they're doing. So let me put down another educator podium. And then maybe we can look in at the wolves because now I'm actually, oh, why are you guys all thinking about beavers way over here? Who knows? I hope I don't have a beaver inside of the, the wolf exhibit. That would be a little awkward. All right, let's go ahead. Where am I going to put the educator? We'll put her right in the middle, I think. Or him. I'm not sure what kind of educator we'll have. A her. All right, so she'll go right here. And hopefully we can have her be, oh, educator hunter. So we'll have her be the wolf educator hunter. And now we should have uh, some baby, <gasps> they're born already. The Ethiopian wolf pups were born already and I missed it. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, are you guys fighting over who gets to be in the den now? You guys, Ethiopian wolf puppies. Oh my goodness. I'm so, no, oh my goodness, look at them. Oh, they're playing. They're play fighting, that's the cutest thing. All right, as long as it stays cute, I suppose. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm gonna have to learn about Ethiopian wolf pups now so I can share more facts with you guys. Look at them play fight and just throw each other into the ground. And also thank you so much because somebody sent me a huge list of so many custom downloads for wolves and foxes and all sorts of creatures. And I'm definitely gonna be going through that with my friend Ben and making sure that it's all compatible with what I've got. But they're play fighting. Okay, and they need, they, uh, they're busy play fighting and they need some privacy see their privacy need is critical and they're so busy play fighting they're not getting their privacy need taken care of so let's see if we can add in we might need to clear out some trees and add in into the like the back corners um, make the area a little flatter let's go ahead and do that because the babies are having a hard time of it it seems so let's see we're going to smooth the terrain a little there we go and let's add in a few more little hiding spots for them. Like maybe the small burrow can go in the back and one or two of them can kind of hide in these small burrows. But I think we need more spots. Oh, there's even a cool log. Yeah, that'll be good enrichment for them. Having like a little log to hide in. That's so cool. What the heck? A Covington? It's gigantic. Wow, I don't even know how big that is. That's amazing. Um, probably too big for our exhibit, that's for sure. All right, so we're gonna smooth the ground out quite a bit back here. What is that? Is that my birds? These are the coolest birds. I had no idea we were gonna get such cool birds. Oh man, and the catfish is in trouble. Okay, hang in there, golden catfish. I don't think my maintenance worker can reach the uh, filters for the catfish exhibit. So let me swim around here for a second till we can clean the water. Okay, shellfish. Oh, you're so pretty, golden catfish. Guests need ATMs. I am being kept on my toes today, that's for sure. I want to see those timber wolf pups. All right, we'll clean all of these. There we go. Filters are clean. And then let's get away from the water. The water is what causes all the lagging. Oh, and look at this. The gift cart is making brisk business. Look at this. Everybody is so excited about the timber wolf pups. This is amazing. And the timber wolf pups are playing on the rock. Oh my gosh. That's the coolest thing. I'm so glad we finally had babies. I was really worried because it didn't seem like they were able to have any babies for a long time. And we have the endangered species breeding specialty item too. So I was very worried. Oh, you're just a little baby. Look at you. Oh my gosh. All right, research for the log is complete. Look how happy everybody is. What are they thinking? It's neat watching Ethiopian Wolf 3 climb rocks in its biome. I can't wait to see the animals. Watching Wolf Hunter, uh, Wolf Educator Hunter is very educational. Oh good, and they're thinking about that a lot. So the educator must be like bellowing at the top of her lungs and being heard by all of these people. Look how happy they all are. Wow, they really love our wolves. I mean, wolves are so popular, so that doesn't really surprise me, but it's just nice to see. All right, now I need to go ahead, and I think we're just gonna go and kind of like smooth slash flatten the terrain over here a bit more and then smooth it out because we need to get more of the who's pregnant oh the bird is now pregnant oh my gosh the wood grouse uh that's what this fancy fancy name can also be as a common name is the wood grouse is now expecting gosh this is so exciting all right and i'm gonna add in some more burrows 
because my wolves need a little bit more privacy. At least the babies do. Critically endangered and everything, and now we've got their babies coming on in. That's so exciting. All right, now where's my log? I just researched my log. What, the babies can go into different spots than the adults? That's so interesting. All right, so the babies can hang out in the log and the adults can't, so we'll put the log at the back over here. And then I'll add in a small burrow, kind of in the trees over here, because I think that would be interesting. And let's put in some frogs as live prey, maybe? Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Stalactite formation, can I stick that inside of their cave? That would be so cool if I could stick this inside of their cave. All right, hang in there, you guys. Hang in there, all right, maybe at the back? Hmm, hmm. I feel like it might be uncomfortable. This looks really cool, but I don't think I can put it in just yet. That would be really, really fun though. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna put down some of the beef and one of the bones so it can be like they have found a carcass that they can enjoy. That's one of my favorite ways to provide enrichment for the animals is making it look like a little carcass landed right here. And oh, they're coming out of the woodworks, you guys. <laughs> they love the beef shanks. They really show up for the beef shanks. So they found a carcass and hopefully that'll help keep them entertained. Um, and we'll work on researching the car tire for them as well and the rubber toy You can fill those rubber toys up with treats and make them a really good enrichment item for the animals to chase around too And maybe the squeaky toy. There we go. Oh, look at the pups. What are you doing you odd little one? Barking at Ethiopian wolf one and just jumping. Oh, I'm stuck behind the burrow Oh my gosh, the burrow's on top of a bone. They buried their bone in the burrow and I'm stuck. Oops. Sorry about that I'm literally stuck I've got to get out of here. All right, there we go. And the red deer is giving birth, so we have plenty of deer coming in. Oh, there they go. Jeez, look at how many people there are over here now. They're totally feeling wolf fever. The wolf fever is going. Okay, quick. We've got to, we've got to like capture this and, and capture the hearts and the imagination of these people while they're still here. All right, quick, quick, quick. What to do, what to do? Um, we already have the educator. Uh, let's see, what else can we add over here? We already have one, let's put a whole gift shop. We're gonna do a whole gift shop, you guys. People are so into these wolves. We're gonna, we're gonna like cash in on this a little bit because it'll be good for the wolves. We can get more, we can get all sorts. Poplar is really hungry, hmm. Uh-oh, is there not enough food? I have too many beavers. We're at beaver overload, you guys. What am I gonna do? Beaver overload. I threw down more lettuce. I threw down more lettuce and let's grab this keeper. And what are, what are his jobs? I don't even know. You're supposed to be in here, sir. Why aren't you taking care of things? If my beavers are hungry, get to work. Oh my gosh. We've got to cash in on the wolf fever. Oh my goodness, look, this woman is like, I am so excited about these wolves. I'm going to like climb my way over to this, this gift shop before it's even opened. All right, let's go ahead and connect this up and hopefully people will come this way and we'll have them bump into like the face painting kiosk over here. If they really want to, they can come over and get their faces painted to look like a wolf. So hopefully that'll be pretty popular. And now the man, Yay! Oh, he needs money, but he couldn't find an ATM and he has a beaver hat. Okay, quick, we've got to add in an ATM too. <laughs> this guy's kind of about not being able to see the animals because there's too many people. I'm sorry, sir. I'm doing the best I can. Oh my goodness, there's so many people. Okay, I wonder if I should add in some binoculars then and maybe people could use the binoculars. I'm so excited. I really love it when everybody is super happy. I guess I should add a restaurant back here too. It's just so exciting when everybody is like actually enjoying their trip here at the zoo and they seem to actually be doing things. Um, where the heck is the ATM? I can't remember. Is it going to be under buildings? It might be under buildings actually. So, hmm. Let's see, I could put in more forest statues. I could put in a nest and we could pretend it's just like a giant bird nest instead of a dinosaur nest. Um, let's see, I should probably have more forest arches, some wooden arches that people can walk through. Oh, that would actually be really cool. There you go, so they've got that trellis action going on again to walk through before they even get to the gift shop. Oh boy, and then I need to find, I think ATM's gonna be over here actually. It's been, oh, there it is. It's been so long since I have, I have so thoroughly fleeced some of my guests that I don't even remember where to find all the bits and pieces. All right, so now we have an ATM and I should probably put it just right here. 
and we'll let people just reach it as they walk by. All right, and they need more bathrooms and they probably need food. Jeez, guests are just as needy as my animals. Don't let anybody ever fool you. And this woman's complaining even though she has a Spanish link hip pack, which is really fun. She wants to view the animals from a bench. I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't have leafy sea dragons at this zoo. All right. Oh, and we do have binoculars down here already. All right. Look at this. We've got a little circle of excitement going on with our guests. We have, oh, and Willow's pregnant. We are at beaver overload, though. So we're going to need to, like, ease up on some of our beavers for sure. We need to do something fun over here, maybe. I don't know. That's kind of, like, this area looks like it could use more. And the guests seem like they're doing a little bit better. They're walking back here and enjoying our wood grouse. So now is the time to launch into another build, if you ask me, you guys. I'm thinking, I'm thinking those foxes. So we have a pretty successful tem or excuse me, Ethiopian wolf exhibit going on and some Ethiopian wolf pups. We need to decorate this area with trees to make it look a little nicer. And I think we're gonna add in maybe some foxes over here and maybe an interesting little wooded path with maybe some playground pieces that kids can walk through over here and connect up over here. All right, so that'll be our next big project is kind of connecting these two pieces. And maybe we'll have like a, a like restaurant in the woods, like the picnic in the woods or something can be a little restaurant we'll put over here. And maybe we'll just make like a giant picnic area instead of a restaurant even. So people can have like a giant picnic area over here. And maybe we'll even add a bear nearby, kind of like we do in our zoo our zoo crafting series with the picnic pickup area and the black bear exhibit right next to it so we may even do that too oh but i feel like this zoo i mean we're keeping a solid five stars and then we can start looking into completing some of the challenges and adding in some fun new animals next time so i'll see you guys then Bye bye